First question is from Swayze Lifts. I've been in a deficit for several weeks and I'm seeing results, but I can't seem to shed the last few pounds of body fat to see my abs. Where do I go from here? So this is where I love to uh, reverse diet you or, you know, have a put you on a mini bulk and also switch your programming. So like after I, if I have a client that I've been, you know, our goal is to get to a certain point and this is soup, by the way, this is very common. Uh, yeah. you get, it's like it, the last place to go. <clears throat> there, there's like, there's like these phases, like, you know, when you first get started, uh, it's, it's relatively easy to see results because anything is going to show change in your body. And then as you get leaner and leaner, it, it actually becomes more challenging it might become more mentally easier because you've built consistency and behaviors and habits now and a routine but it does get more challenging as far as what the levels that you have to, to push yourself to or the science that you have to apply to really get to the next level. And so when somebody is, is training with me and we, we, hit, we run into this roadblock, and of course, you know, uh, I never let like one week be that too because there's a lot of things that could happen. Like you could have had a stressful week. Uh, it could be that time of the month. You could, have, you could have other factors that are making you think you're not seeing as much results. So I never let like one week of whatever we're doing dictate a major shift in my programming or diet. But if you've had two or three weeks where you've really plateaued and you can't get that final last five or 10 pounds or two or 3% body fat, that's normally my sign as a, as a trainer now. Okay, now I'm going to increase the calories for a while because you've been in a deficit. Your body's obviously getting very adapted to what we're doing. I'm also going to switch gears on how we're training and programming and put you in a different direction. And I'll only do that for a couple weeks and then go back to reverse yeah. or well, cutting you again. Well, they are saying that they've been in a deficit for several weeks and I'm seeing results. So what do you mean yeah. by several weeks? You've been in a deficit for three weeks? And now you and you're frustrated that you can't see your abs. What, what body fat percentage were you starting at? I mean, it's only if, if it's only a few weeks, right? That's a good point. And, and you're seeing results. Yeah, so it's like it, like it just sounds to me it just needs to keep going. Yeah, it's like you know I've been bench pressing for three weeks now and, and I can't you know add fifty pounds to my bench yet. What's going on now? Maybe you just got to do it longer. Yeah, you know I don't know how long you've been doing this. I typically if you started at you know if this is a, a man and you started at thirteen percent body fat. Um, and you're only doing it for several weeks and you're seeing results, but not seeing your abs. I'd say, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You might need to get a point. Yeah. You might need to get a little leaner. Um, if it's been like six weeks, seven weeks and you started at 12% body fat and you really plateaued, then I would do what Adam's saying. And the reverse diet literally means you're just increasing your calories a little bit. Typically you'll add, depending on the person, anywhere between 150 to 300 calories a day. Focus on building strength and muscle. Now, here's this is something interesting about, about this process. Sometimes, if you do it right, depending on the person, reverse dieting, bumping calories, focusing on strength training, gets you leaner too by itself. No, that's why it's a, yeah, that's so, why it's a great method. Yeah, sometimes it's like it just that's what gets you leaner. Especially when you do it as, as calculated as what you just said. You mm-hmm. just add about 100 to 300 more calories. Like That's not enough to put on like pounds of fat. Right. And if you also change the program at the same time, normally that is enough to, to do both. Like you'll you'll definitely kind of kick you out of that out of that. Yep. And that, so my advice was I I want to make that clear. If you have a, a plateau but you're right. If you're still seeing results, yeah. then stay the course. You know, mm-hmm. stay the course. And 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 like I said, I, I wait for a good solid two weeks where I feel like nothing's happening. Like if I've got a client on a in a protocol that I feel confident we should be consistently dropping, and what happens sometimes is, you know, eventually we we plateau out. I'm gonna like, okay, stay the course still for another week. Let me evaluate what's going on. Okay, we're still at a mm-hmm. hard plateau. Now let's make some adjustments. And then that's one of the ways that yeah. I would make adjustments. The last resort, you, you know, that none of us mention, you know, because we do get a lot of cardio type questions. Like cardio is like the very last thing that I, I want to add. I want to manipulate food and manipulate programming as many times and ways that I can before I just say, okay, now what I want you to do is, you know, 20 minutes of cardio every single day after your workout. Like that's it. That's an easy way to kind of break out of a plateau, but it's also the the last way that I want to do it. That's my, that's my final, like, okay, we're almost right where you want to be. Okay. Let's ramp up the cardio. Yeah. And here's the last thing you can do. You can also try building your abs. You, you may be in a situation like I was years ago where I would get down pretty lean but my abs really wouldn't really pop out. It was because I needed to develop my abdominals. As I got mm-hmm. them developed, I was able to see them at higher body fat percentages. Um, we have a program called the No BS Six Pack Formula that that really focuses on developing. 
the muscles of the core and the abs so that they are visible uh, at higher body fat percentages.